everyone i welcome you all to today's hit series session that is high impact topic series session in this series i discuss with you all very very crucial topics with regards to upsc csc with the recent developments and of course i go back to the static portion of the same and cover it in 360 degree format for you all so today in this series we are going to discuss about yamuna par azadi ka amrit mahotsav which has been celebrated by minister of jal shakti and in fact many new schemes have been launched underneath this event and in fact felicitations have been have been done with regards to the older schemes that are going on so we shall be covering this particular topic in the following sequence that is first of all of course we shall be talking about the news thereafter we shall be collecting all the key facts which are related to the same then we shall be understanding about this name earth ganga initiative which most of you i know would not have heard because this is an evolutionary scheme of namami gange so namami gange had to evolve thereafter into earth ganga initiative which it is transforming into currently and new schemes have been launched under the earth ganga umbrella initiative now by the government for in this particular event itself then i shall be looking at prelims and mains practice questions for you so let's first of all before we move ahead with the topic talk about the new polity and ethics courses foundation courses for 2023 by nitin shivhari sir of analyst ias to inquire more about these courses and admissions you need to call on this particular number and the admissions are going on the course new batch is going to begin from 29th of august the seats mind you guys are very very limited so i would ask you to hurry up and book your slots because this course is going to add immense value to your upsc csc preparation now let's get back to the topic why it is a news so jal shakti minister presides over the event event's name we have already kept it as the name of the topic itself so yamuna par azadi ka amrit mahotsav is the event's name it was of course conducted on the bank of river yamuna in new delhi so the occasion was marked as launch of new initiatives under earth ganga so why this event was being conducted yamuna par azadi ka amrit mahotsav it was being conducted because new initiatives under the umbrella initiative of earth ganga were supposed to be inaugurated or launched by minister of jal shakti and the event as i've told you took place in new delhi along river yamuna launch of many new initiatives under earth ganga concept enunciated by pm modi so both namami gange and earth ganga were actually conceptualized by prime minister only the first step was namami gange now it has to evolve into earth ganga so it is to get river people connected through the economic bridge to ensure sustainability to the activities under namami gange initiatives under earth ganga are going to include jalaj and mou that is memorandum of understanding with sahakar bharti for natural farming and tourism related portal i am avtar who are sahakars sahakars are cooperatives and sahakar bharti is an organization of these cooperatives which represents cooperatives of the country so a memorandum of understanding has been uh, you know signed with these uh, a cooperative organization or an organization that is representing cooperative organizations in the country for what for natural farming using what river water alongside river right so the minister felicitated the winners of ganga quest 2022 in this particular event i already told you that some felicitations were also done and launched new river champ course on the continuous learning and activity portal clap 
The Ganga Quest 2022 was hosted on Clap for Ganga, the or Clap for Ganga, the continuous learning and activity portal, an initiative under the Namami Gange itself. Nine winners. Now you see, Namami Gange was an umbrella initiative. an initiative underneath which multiple schemes are running that would be known as umbrella policy umbrella scheme umbrella initiative namami gange was one such initiative now we just looked at the initiatives that are going to be there under arth ganga jalaj memorandum of understanding with sahakar cooperatives sahakar bharti and then there is i am avatar portal right so these are initiatives underneath the scheme so that makes it an umbrella scheme right so that it is formulated by so that better coordination could be done for all the other schemes and their implementations right so yeah as i was saying nine winners of three categories of ganga quest were there these are the details and names of the same we don't have to go into this detail it's not as crucial for us so we shall be moving ahead with this point top 10 schools and institutions in terms of participation including uso cbse navodya kendra vidyalayas were also felicitated for their involvement in the ganga quest 2022 ganga quest 2022 is of course a quiz related to ganga now let's talk about the new initiative the earth ganga initiative so during the first meeting of national ganga council in kanpur uttar pradesh in 2019 the prime minister urged for a holistic thinking process where namami gange evolves to earth ganga right so earth ganga implies a sustainable development model with a focus on economic activities related to ganga what was the scheme that was being run earlier by the government it was namami gange in 2019 pm came up with this thought that now namami gange has to evolve itself and now the initiative in which it will be evolving into will be known as earth ganga so earth ganga implies a sustainable development model with a focus on economic activities related to the river ganga so that sustainability and economic cycle of people who rely on the river can be maintained farmers will be encouraged to engage in sustainable agricultural practices zero budget farming planting of fruit trees and building plant nurseries on the bank of ganga now what does it do it also prevents soil erosion right and it also helps us utilize the river water in a sustainable manner and keep the economic cycle going so the creation of infrastructure for water sports and development of camp sites cycling and walking tracks etc would help to tap the hybrid tourism potential of the river basin area for purposes of religious as well as adventure tourism inland waterway is one of the most important pillars of earth ganga project and this is the map of the waterway see these are the banks cities from where river ganga is flowing this is the inland waterway and these are the economic activities which can be done so from kathi to varanasi or kathi to to banaras mari gold could be grown on the bank of river ganga then till gazipur from varanasi to gazipur dairy and vegetables from gazipur to hajipur patna banana and pan then till munger vegetables till bhagalpur fruits and grains and right there in tribeni where ganga meets other rivers jute and craft jute crafts and vegetables could be grown right and so on and these are the major city ports that can be connected through inland waterways so national waterway 1 is an inland water transport route between haldia in west bengal and prayagraj in uttar pradesh the ministry of shipping is also developing varanasi that is uttar in uttar pradesh freight village and saheb ganj jharkhand industrial cluster come logistic park with an objective of creating synergy with the within the inland waterways and in fact make them more utilizable make them more useful make them more economically viable 
so the econ the income generated from encouraging eco tourism and ganga wildlife conservation and cruise tourism etc would be helping to generate sustainable income streams for cleaning the ganga now this again is the root inland waterway one right or national waterway one is the correct terminology and these are the ports or cities it connects now the initiatives underneath earth ganga so first one is jalaj initiative what is it all about to so ministry virtual minister virtually launched jalaj initiative under earth ganga at 26 locations out of the proposed 75 locations proposed during this year on the main stem of ganga river basin uttarakhand uttar pradesh bihar jharkhand and west bengal so these states are going to be benefited by the jalaj initiative jalaj what is it it is being implemented in association with wildlife institute of india it there is going to be a trained cadre of ganga praharis which has been created from among the local people by the wildlife institute of india for the sake of biodiversity conservation and ganga rejuvenation this initiative is innovative mobile livelihood center which is aimed at aligning the skill enhancement activities with ganga conservation it is a model of livelihood diversification through promotion of local produce and facilitates stakeholders participation in ecological and economic spheres of for river conservation in line with earth ganga objectives so under jalaj initiative what do they do they actually try to conserve the wildlife as well as the biodiversity not just wildlife and the river now with that what they do what do they do they give skills to people to do the same thing they are creating what employment for the people so they are conserving the nature preserving the environment preserving our very crucial river that is lifeline of many many people and ultimately making it economically useful for the people and the country as well more and more useful i should say right so what about the memorandum of understanding with the sahakar bharti so this memorandum of understanding was signed between nmcg and sahakar bharti to achieve a vision of sustainable and viable economic development by public participation so sahakar bharti is going to bring citizenry into the play the whole game so it will be creating strength for local cooperatives i told you sahakars are cooperatives and they will direct the cooperatives towards realizing the mandate of earth ganga what is it about i told you in the beginning itself it is about natural farming so my main objectives are going to be 75 villages are to be identified now what is the significance of the uh, number 75 it's 75 because azadi ka amrit mahotsav 75 years of independence and what was the name of the topic yamuna par azadi ka amrit mahotsav so five states will be there and uh, uh, across five states 75 villages will be identified on the main stem of the river ganga and they will be designated as sahakar ganga grams sahakar ganga grams they are supposed to promote natural farming among the farmers farmer producer organizations and other cooperatives in the state along ganga and generate more net income per drop of water right so facilitate marketing of natural farming these cooperatives will do that they anyways facilitate marketing of uh, the produced crop but now they are just trying to come closer to the utility of river water of ganga in a sustainable manner so natural farming organic produce under what would be the brand the brand would be ganga through creation of market linkages now this is very important that whatever crops will be grown in this manner under this memorandum of understanding it would be branded under the brand name ganga so it is going to promote people river connect through economic bridge there be an economic linkage 
more and more integration of livelihood of people which is going to depend on the river so that they actually understand the importance of river for them and keep in mind that they have to remain sustainable and keep on conserving and preserving the river water as well now the iim avatar portal what it is going to do it is tourism related portal to promote livelihood opportunities along the ganga river basin by promoting earth ganga initiative through tourism marketing of local products both agriculture and handicrafts sustainability of ghats and other assets created by nmcg digitalizing nmcg and namami gange touch points and assets is also a part of this collaboration so under this portal you will see on it tourism uh, spots information regarding the same handicrafts then agricultural products right all associated to ganga somehow directly or indirectly so this was all about the initiatives that we were supposed to discuss in this particular session and all the details related to the news from current to static now i would like to take you towards the prelims practice question so earth ganga project was launched in which year we have discussed this minute detail in this series itself so if you have missed out on it i would request you to rewatch this session and be very very attentive now the options are a 2014 b 2019 c 1989 and d 2012 so yes the answer is 2019 it was in 2019 in the meeting in kanpur uttar pradesh that pm said that navami gange now has to evolve towards earth ganga initiative your mains practice question for today is one of the major challenges for india is to balance its needs of economic development with a commitment to sustainable development discuss india's attempt in achieving this balance you will be answering this particular question in 250 words and send in your answers to us on whatsapp to get them reviewed this is it for today i shall see you again tomorrow till then take care stay tuned thank you so much for joining in